So today we're taking out this blue spruce. It's, I can't remember what we clocked it at. It was like 65, 70 feet tall. Um, and this is gonna be Levi's first removal. He's, he's removed a couple small ones, but this is gonna be his biggest removal by himself climbing. So yeah, this is gonna be a really good kind of practice training tree for him. And this is, this is actually my tree. And so this tree has Cytaspora canker and it's dying. That's why we're taking it out. And it's got all this white goop on here. It looks like bird poop on the branches and the trunk. And that's actually cankers. And blue spruce are not native to Minnesota. So they have a really hard time surviving around here. And I mean, the tree's slowly dying. Cytaspora canker is kind of a slow killer. But the big reason we're taking it out now, it would, it would live for another five years and just kind of slowly decline. But we have this, this really nice blue spruce right here. And that's my wife's favorite tree. And we don't want the canker to spread to that. So we're taking this out now as kind of a, kind of a preventative maintenance deal. So, and you can see on the other side of the tree, it's pretty much all dead on the inside. So we'll be taking this out today. And by we, I mean Levi. So I'm gonna be his ground guide today and we'll watch him as he uh, climbs and removes his tallest tree yet. <laughs> Okay. And I got what you mean by like putting your knee on the trunk. Oh, it helps a ton, right? Yeah, it takes so much weight off your feet too. Yeah. He's looking pretty comfortable up there. I think that might be the highest that he's climbed to date. Oh, maybe not. It's the highest that he's worked. So one thing to mention too, you'll notice that we're running the chipper and I'm trying to stay caught up and efficient while Levi's up in the tree. And something that you really want to keep in mind is when there's a climber in the tree and you're running your chipper, you want to be very cognizant of where his climb line is because the last thing you want to do is suck his climb line into this chipper. That would kill your climber in an instant. So. Just keep that in mind.
over time? Okay. Okay. So this is Levi's first tall top. He's taken tops from about 15 feet up in the air. Right now he's about 55 feet. So, say again? Is that enough? Like it doesn't have to be much? Yep, just barely through the bark. That's all you need on your side cuts. Because on these, it's always the uh, the bark that peels down and changes your direction at times. Okay. So he's got a little bit of a breeze there. So he's just gonna wait till that passes. He's gonna wait for this gust to die down. Yep, once that wind dies down, he'll fire up the saw, make his back cut. Maintain his hinge wood, obviously, and that top's gonna go flying. Yeah, buddy. Nice work. How's that feel? raking in the snow. That'll work. If you want to make your stump cut, there's a bunch of ice there, so it's hard to see exactly where the ground is. It doesn't have to be super low. But if you want to make your stump cut, I'm gonna come in and grab this log quick. Nice. 